Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lindsay and this is The Mom Logs. So today I'm gonna be switching from my usual type of video where I talk about like food and um, what I'm eating and I track bites and I'm going to show you all what I'm gonna put into my kids' Easter baskets. I did this last year and a lot of people seem to like it. Um, I try to not fill their baskets up with like, you know, like the little trinkets and toys that just like turn into junk in your house and end up in the trash can. I feel like I there's a fine line to walk between like candy and junk food and like, for lack of a better word or term, junk toys and like a second Christmas, if you know what I mean. So I try to find stuff that's small, but that I know that they'll enjoy and use, and then um, maybe just like one or two food items to go into their baskets. I will start off by showing you their baskets. Um, I have two different sizes. I talked about this last year for no other reason than I just accidentally, when I ordered Ben's, um, I accidentally ordered the wrong size. So they're both from Target and the liners are from Target. I cannot find the liners, but they have the baskets themselves in white and this natural color. This is the 14 and a half inch and this is the 12 inch, I believe. And the liners I did purchase from Target, but like I said, I can't find them on their website, but the baskets they do still have in both sizes in white and the natural. This one's for Jack. He is five and this one's for Ben and he is three, just to give you an idea of um, how like my son's ages. The filler is paper, like cr crinkled up the paper style ones and um, this is also from Target. So let me show you what I'm going to put in the baskets. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the food stuff. And the first one is um, these, they're like, Skittles from the candy company called Yum Earth. My kids love these and I buy these because they're organic non-GMO and um, they are dye free. Um, I do not give my kids artificial dyes, just a personal preference thing. Um, but these are, there is a, there's 10 packs of the little Skittles in here and they're like the size of the ones that you would get when you were trick-or-treating. I tasted them and they taste exactly like regular Skittles. So they'll each get five packs in their Easter basket. And then I got them each two pouches. Jack um, is five and maybe just like a little bit too old for these, but he does enjoy them and they are really good on the go quick snack and it is a treat. I got the Earth's Best, the Organic Orange and Banana pouch and um, the blueberry, banana, flax, and oat. And then I just got them each. They're the same. And then last for food, I got them each a Hershey's brand solid milk chocolate cross. Moving on um, to like more like toy and creative stuff, I found this um, jumbo watercolor set from Walmart like over by like all the kids craft stuff and it comes with 12 different colors and they're really nice and big. Ben enjoys painting more than any other craft like coloring or anything so I thought this would be perfect. He's just um, learning about colors and which colors make different colors when they're combined and it also came with a paintbrush. This is pretty large. And then because Jack has all the craft supplies he could ever want, I found this at Walmart. He likes Minecraft, so I figured he would like this shirt. It is, um, like I said, from Walmart, and this is an extra small 4.5, and I think this will fit him perfect. He's gonna be so excited. The next thing I picked up were two slinkies. I just ordered these off of Amazon and they are just your basic slinky. It does say five plus, but I think Ben can handle it. And I got the metal ones because I feel like the metal ones are the best ones to send down the steps. They just have the weight to them that the plastic ones don't. So I got these. The last really toy thing I got was this set of two bubble guns. They received bubblegum 
bubble guns last year I think from my mom and they just stopped working so these ones got really good reviews on Amazon and there's two in here so I'll take them out of the box and give them each one in their basket and it came with bubbles too it looks like there's a blue one and a green one in there which those are like their designated colors Jack always gets blue and Ben always gets green don't forget the last scholastic book order form gets sent home maybe like a month before Easter so I usually get the um, I just usually order their books that way for their Easter baskets so the first set that I got was I think it's yeah it's three of the Pete the Cat books Jack really likes these these are rockin in my school shoes Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons and Pete Pete the cat, I love my white shoes. And Jack really likes those and he's also learning to string together letters to read. And they're also really into the nin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So this is the step into reading Phonics Power um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books. And it has a ton of books in there and then I'll just open up the first one it tells you what in the book you're going to be learning so this one focuses on short a and it's called in a jam and then um, it tells you what words you're gonna be reading and then it's just very easy reading so it says Leonardo can fight it's just very 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 easy so we can work together and start out just by reading them together. And then I also got a couple for Ben. Ben really enjoys Peppa Pig. And this is called Super Peppa and it's got sparkles on the front. It looked really fun. He also likes superheroes, so I thought this would be perfect for him. Super cute. I really like their illustrations really colorful and fun and then we've also been enjoying learning about space and watching rockets take off and stuff like that so I got him um, moon earth's best friend this one looked really cute too on the scholastic website you can kind of like look through a few pages of the book just just to see what the illustrations look like and the reading level that they are that's it that's all that is gonna go into their baskets and this is gonna be just like the perfect amount I always try to make it as even as possible and I do try and get them the same things just because then we have less arguing if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments um, any ideas that you might have for anyone else to put in their kids Easter baskets as well I'll link below whatever I can find online if you'd like to check it out for yourself and your kids or whoever you might be buying an Easter basket for this year if you'd like to see more from me don't forget to click the subscribe button and I will see you next time bye